This movie describes how to use the pair of activities binomial multiplication, dynamic algebra tiles. Here we have algebra tiles arranged in a grid, and they represent the product of x plus 4 times x plus 8. We have a yellow algebra tile with dimensions x by x with area x squared. We have green algebra tiles with dimensions x by 1 with area x and we have unit algebra tiles with dimensions 1 by 1, or area 1. So if we look at the product of x plus 4 times x plus 8, we can see that it's x squared plus 8x plus 4x plus 32, 4 times 8. We can show these partial products by pressing this button. We can also show the entire product by adding those together. So we have the 4x and the 8x combined to make 12x. And we can also change the size of our unit and the size of x. And it's helpful for students to see that x is not one particular length, it can be anything. We can also choose to turn the grid lines off as we get more experienced with the model. We don't really need those to help us compute the product. In our second grid, not only can we change the constants being added to x, we can also change the coefficients in front of x. So if I drag the blue point, I can go from 3x to 4x to 5x and so on. And I can also, as before, scale my picture so I can show more. Now our third model, which is the beginning of our second activity, that model looks at algebra tiles with negative areas. I'm just going to return our model here to show a single algebra tile, an x by x tile, with area x squared. For our first problem, we're going to look at x plus 3 times x minus 2. So to create that, I'm going to drag this point, the orange point, down to add 3 to x. So, so far, what is the area of this grid? Well, it's x squared plus 3x. To subtract 2, I'll drag this orange point to the left. How has that changed our area? Well, because it's in orange, that indicates that we're subtracting area. So again, we started with x squared plus 3x, and we're taking away this area. And what is this area? Well, it's 2x, 2 times x, and it's 6, 3 times 2. So we have x squared minus 2x plus 3x, minus 6, and that's equal to x squared plus x minus 6. Now, let's look at what happens when we subtract in both of our um, multipliers, x minus 3 and x minus 2. So let's return to where we started with just x by x. So we have an area so far of x squared. We'll subtract 2 as we did before, so we have x squared, and then we have minus 2x. But what happens now when we subtract 3? I'll do that over here. So what have we taken away in this direction? Well, we've taken away minus 3x, this entire rectangle here that's shaded uh, blue in its outline. So that explains x squared our minus 2x and our minus 3x, but what about these six unit squares? Are we subtracting those two? Well, notice something here. When I subtracted minus 2x, I subtracted those squares. Those are part of this orange rectangle. And when I subtracted 3x, I subtracted them again. They're here, but I couldn't really subtract them twice because they were taken away already. They're not there to take away again. So when I show this and I say that it's x squared minus 2x 
minus 3x, that's taking into account subtracting 6 twice. So I can only take away 6 once. So that means that to correct for this, I need to add 6 back, in fact. So if I look at that, that means I have x squared minus 2x minus 3x and then plus 6. So altogether, that's x squared minus 5x plus 6. So this explains how to use the pair of activities binomial multiplication.